Hello and welcome back. So I haven't done a video in quite a while because I've been super busy. Um, there's lots going on which I'll do a video soon about the garden and what we've got done. Um, but we have here a massage gun that I bought my missus about three years ago. She's used it like four times and now it's not charging. We bought it because she had an accident in a car and hurt her back. So I'm going to try and figure out why it's not charging and uh, take it apart and see what's happening. It's not under warranty anymore and I'm not paying for their service charge. So let's see, it could only be the inside of the charger there that's playing up maybe. So I've got a charger plugged in there just to confirm that it's working. I will plug it into this and there we go, it's charging. And I've also got a charger plugged into my PC and We'll see if that's working, but here it is. It is brand new, she's hardly used it, so I'm gonna take it out. I would say it's a good brand, but it's not working now. So as you can see, when I plug this in, nothing, absolute nothing, which is pretty annoying. And I've left it for hours like this with nothing, so, I'm going to go get the um, screws and start taking it apart. So let's get the grommets out. So I've removed the screws, loving this tray. So everything's where it should be. And I suppose now we see where how we take this apart. So I've managed to pull it open, it took some force, there it is, look at that. So I take it that we're going to unclip the wire from here. So I've managed to unclip it, I'm going to undo these and see where we go. Then it leaves that. Pull that back. Let's see if it charges actually with just this unit. Uh, still nothing. So that wire's a bit damaged. Not too bad. And there we go. Unscrewed it and it just popped off. Suppose we have a look inside here now. So it could be that controller down there that's the issue. Could be a loose wire, hopefully. I'm hoping it's a loose wire. Or I've pushed them all back together. Let's see if there's anything that comes up. Nothing. How about if we plug it back into the board? Just to see if I've wiggled any wires. It's back. Nothing. There's some hidden screws underneath here. So we'll undo them. A good tip is if you're worried about where the screws go, you can always put them back in where you took them out from. That's always served me quite well. There's the controller board, charging board. Could it be a problem with the battery? look pretty all right to me let's keep digging so I believe the cells are okay there we go 3.46 3.46 
so the cells are good. I don't know if you can see this, but when I test this for volts, <laughs> sticky, it flashes. Did you see that? And now it's not going to do it. There you go. So that's really we weird. So is it something that's loose on this? That's telling it to control. Because that all looks fine. I'm going to plug it in when it's on. And see how it does it again. It just randomly flashes. So now we're all plugged in. Still nothing. Try turning it on. It shouldn't shoot out. Now if I test the battery of that plugged in, let's see if there's any difference. Did I put it in the right way? Really odd. getting a reading now. Yeah. Unplug it. Still not getting a reading. What is going on? Let's try turning it on then. nothing all right so after some fiddling i got it on as you can see it's running it's running there it's showing us that it's it's got no battery left there should be three leds one two three four but only one's lighting up so Got 6.91 volts. Oh. Yep. So is it going to charge? What charge volts have we got now? Nope, nothing's changed. I think there's a problem in this. It's got to be this. We can check continuity between the wires. I doubt it's the wires though.
and they've got to be ground. These two here. They're your two grounds. All I can think of is applying some heat to this and seeing if it's got a cracked solder joint or it's not making contact and putting heat to it might might solve it. So we might try that. I'm going to try and use this. Um, this is like a portable soldering iron but it's got a blowtorch on the end of it. Hot air. So I'm going to try that and just see melting it maybe or melting the solder. will help. Maybe help it reflow. Because this is probably to the end of my ability now. I mean the thing shakes itself to death so it might. We can only hope. getting hot now so I'll keep doing this all right it's cooling down now so I suppose we'll just plug it all back in and see if it's made a change at all and then it got pretty hot Moment of truth. Nada. Nada, 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 nada. So weird, it turns on with a little bit of power, but then it will not charge. Yes, that charging port's gone, but I haven't got the ability to change that. Just pushing down to see if any other soldiers come loose. Nope. So let's try something else. No, and that definitely works. Yep. 
Oh. Right, just stuck it all together and let's see. There we go. She's charging. So either the heat treatment worked on it or it was just a loose connection where I've scrammed it all back in. It's working. But there we go. She's charging, so she's fixed. Well, that was good. And there we go. Managed to fix her. I'm happy with that. I didn't know if I'd be able to do it, but a little bit of a fiddle and a play, and she's now working, because these were around 75 quid. And they are good when you have sore muscles if you exercise <laughs> or if you just get cramp, I suppose. But anyway, I hope you like that. Please like, subscribe and comment and I'll catch you soon.